good getting internet um, back. It's uh, been a couple of days. This is actually being Sunday afterward. I'm still on call, unfortunately, so it's not a phone that I need to have out, but I've actually had a couple of decent nights sleep. Also, the sun says hi. Um, also, I listened to the last recording and, which, for reference, I'm actually caught up at this point, so by the time this one goes live, well, actually I might be recording multiple this morning. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I had listened to the recording and noticed that I can hear my keyboard really easily. I have a mechanical keyboard. Uh, this is one of the more quieter forms of it, but with how close the microphone is to the keyboard, I can understand it. So I've switched to using a gamepad. Um, and it's... oh wait, Windows not active. Um, I don't think I'm gonna mess up from the gamepad at least, so I think I'll be okay. Let's get the bird brain over here. Move Sarah over there. Move the brain over there. Move the other bird there. And let's lower some people. So, how are you? I have a purring kitty on my lap, so I'm doing okay. Uh, I want to talk about Peter a little bit. So, here's the situation with Peter. Peter is a bad character in this game. Um, now, keep in mind, I'm a huge proponent of torts. I actually, I went through my last major playthrough of Shining Force 2 Vanilla Shining Force 2, I should say. I actually proved that uh, Kiwi, who's normally the tort in the game, is actually far better than what most people give him credit for. The problem is that you have to get through the lower levels. And the problem with the lower levels, in this case, uh, are basically you don't do enough damage to be able to kill things. So the way you have to make Kiwi work effectively is... Not used to. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I am. Um, basically, you have to keep him up level wise, and that's not going to happen the way everything is set up. Um, Kiwi is currently four to five levels behind average party level, or Peter is currently four to five levels behind average party level because he was a guest for so long. And there's not much you can do about that. Are you boosted? Yes. Are you boosted? Yes. Are you boosted? Yes. Yes, kitten. Uh, I guess I'll just stay. Ah, oh, crap. Boost is starting to expire. Kind of wish I had two people with boost. Maybe Sarah's a ninja will learn boost. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right, uh, so I'm really concerned that all Peter's going to end up doing is getting a Blaze 2 to the face and dying. And there's a good chance that's going to happen. This phone, anything you need to- okay, it's just Pogo. Um, like I said, there's a good chance this is going to happen. This is not exactly an unlikely scenario. Who's probably one of my favorite classes in the game so easily. Right, you should be fine. Unfortunately, you're not boosted anymore, but. Kazin! Shoot. I'd rather lose Kazin. I'm going to lose one character. Yeah, you're not going to be able to. I'm gonna do what? One? Yep. See, that's the problem. I do one point of damage. This isn't a solvable situation. Alright, did I already mess up? One, two, three, four, five. No, okay. I need to be really careful about that zombie, basically. Oh, I forgot to pass the power ring over. Like, wait, why am I doing so much damage? 
I could equip the power ring on Kiwi. That will help some, but I'm still only going to be doing like two or three damage instead. Of one. What's your attack? 18. Man, what's your attack? 37. I would still be doing next to nothing in damage because 18 isn't enough to damage the zombie. So minimum damage in Shining Force 2 is 1. No matter what, no matter how crappy your... I guess I'll waste the 2. Uh, no matter how crappy your attack is, you will always do 1 point of damage. And I should move this window a little bit closer to the top. So I try to keep... I'm On my screen, I actually have Shining Force 2 in a window with... Uh, my OBS next to it and IRC down below. And there's a reason for that. Uh, crud, I haven't made enough space for you. What was I saying? I'm really easily distracted this morning. Um, the minimum attack. Equipping power ring probably wouldn't help much. Okay, so at this point, I could go over and go attack the zombie. Zombie has 40 attack. You have 19 defense. You would be taking 21 points of damage on a hit. How about no? If I had promoted characters, this would be a perfect time to attack with Bowie. But I don't. That zombie is just out of range of all of my characters. I'm doing it anyway. Think. Zombies are dangerous. I need to do everything I can to kill the zombie as fast as possible. I think zombies are weak against fire. Yeah, I think they're... I think it's more that they're strong against freeze, but whatever. Alright, I just need somebody else to go before the zombie. You'll do. Because the zombie's at a terrain effect 0% spot, which is why I wanted to take it out as fast as possible. Also, I'm getting full XP for it on Sarah, so that's a sign that I'm a little underleveled for fighting zombies. I will probably end up grinding a little bit next combat. I think these two are my next targets. I'm trying to figure out what path I want to take, because technically all I need to do is kill this creature right here. And it's actually possible to do that if you exploit some glitches on the first round. There's... so uh, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about were some glitches. Um, a couple of episodes back, you had seen me end a combat and Bowie was basically in a wall, but I walked out of the wall and was fine. That is actually a known glitch to Shining Force 2, apparently. I did not realize this. Um, what that means is that you can actually skip some battles by virtue of where you end a battle. So if you ever have two battles on the same map, or at least bordering maps, you can have Bowie end their turn way far away. And then when the battle ends, your party warps to Bowie. So at that point, you can just walk across things because you're on the other side of the map because Bowie's flying. Uh, in normal Shining Force 2, you actually have to exploit a second glitch to make this work, but we're not playing normal Shining Force 2. I really run out of things to talk about in these episodes because Shining Force 2 is long. I would much rather fight the two melee enemies than two melee plus an archer. Even though the dark smoke is a lot stronger than this hobgoblin, these guys will ruin my day. Especially poor Bowie. Let's move Bowie back there. I think it's boost time again. Besides, I want Gerhalt boosted so I can actually use him. 
Uh, other thing I want to talk about, promotions. So we're starting to approach the time where I need to start thinking about promotions. Oh, that's what Kerfal looks like in combat. Interesting. You chose that sprite. I'm okay with this. Um, promotions in Shining Force 2 can happen starting at level 20, and usually I don't start it at level 20. Level 20 promotions are generally bad ideas for everybody involved. I have five bonus. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. So you've got... Uh, I hate using the controller for this. I should lower some out. I'll have Sarah move back next time. I should double check to see if Sarah can actually take a hit from a zombie. Well, I woke them up, that's for sure. Uh, 40 attack. 18 defense. Yes, but not by much. I need terrain effect to ensure reasonable survival. I miss being able to actually listen to the music. Unfortunately, I can't in this case, just by virtue of, well, I need to be able to make sure I can hear the phone ring. Oh, crap, I thought May was closer. Oh, this was a terrible idea. My archers can't survive an attack against that zombie. I might need egress. Already. Okay, let's take a look. You have 40, I just looked at that. You have 13 defense. So you'd be taking 27 points of damage. Terrain effect, I might survive one hit, maybe. Find the egress out. I'm not gonna take that. Alright, I didn't use any items. Oh, I'm going to finally remember to pass that power ring. Because May definitely doesn't need it at this point. Item. Um, who does? So, giving up to- oh, jeez. Just look at Peter's attack versus Gerhalt's attack. Gerhalt's a mage. Peter's a melee fighter. They have the same attack, and the reason why they have the same attack is because Peter is four levels lower. But, ugh. Actually, give Quick Ring to Gerhalt? What's Gerhalt's agility like? 18, Peter's is 12. Twelve. Ugh. He's so terrible right now. Is it really worth me power leveling him? I'm gonna give it to Gerhalt so Gerhalt can move a little bit faster. Actually, let's also equip things because that would make sense. Alright, and Peter. Ugh. This is a terrible idea. Not upstairs, downstairs me. I've been sleeping much better, but it, that doesn't mean I'm not tired. Fair warning. things I should probably call out. Um, promotion. So that's what I was talking about before. So, as mentioned, Shining Force 2, you can promote starting at level 20, which Jaha might actually hit level 20 fairly soon. And you can promote anywhere from level 20 to level 40. Um, the highest is 40 because you stop gaining experience at that point. And the way Shining Force 2 handles promotions... Uh, is basically once you're promoted, you count as being 20 levels higher for purposes of XP. So what that means is if you promote at level 20 exactly, you're losing a level worth of stats. If you promote at level 40, you are gaining an extra 19 levels of stats, but you'll also, your XP growth will be slower because promotion makes you more powerful and faster stat growth. So it's effectively a trade-off between 
Dang it. It's effectively a trade-off between do I want to have... Do I want to have awesome stats but slow down my growth initially? Which means things will become a little bit harder earlier on. Or do I want to stunt my future growth by promoting early? And it really depends on what character. I've actually gone through this with a giant spreadsheet and a bunch of posts 10 plus years back. But basically what it boils down to is Jaha leveling up. Do you have a new spell? Freeze 2. Nice. Um, what it basically boils down to is whether um, the character is going to be somebody that desperately needs to promote. And in this case, if I want to use a Sorcerer, which is a Sork promotion, which I'm planning on using on Gerhalt, uh, then it behooves me to promote as fast as possible. And the reason for that is that you replace all of your spells on promotion. So it doesn't matter the fact that I've leveled up a bunch of times as a mage, I don't get any of those mage spells anyway, and they're mages. The only stats that really matter to a mage are MP and agility. It's not as big of a deal if I don't promote immediately. So I'm probably going to end up promoting Gerhalt at 24 would be my guess. Everybody else, I'm probably going to wait longer. Um, unfortunately, what that means is that I'm not going to be promoting anybody before the nastiest fights of the game. Or before two of the nastiest fights, and probably all three, to be honest. You have five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. party is going to survive. So the next battle the next set of battles are I want to call them optional. That would be inaccurate. They don't happen in a set order. You're the one that actually chooses when each battle happens basically. the same range and air effect is please do good to know. Uh, usually you don't get freeze until much later in the game. And that's not because freeze is overpowered or anything, just because the only mage that you have at this point of the game never gets freeze. Um, basically Kazin, who's normally the mage, has a magic loadout that's very similar to Gerhalt here. Uh, well, not really that similar because Gerhal has Egress and Blast. But um, basically, Kazin has Blaze as his only offensive spell. The rest of his spells are Status Effect or Instant Death. Those are not very good spells in Shining Force 2. Uh, yeah, they're just not very good spells in Vanilla Shining Force 2. So usually I end up promoting Kazin as a sorcerer because he's actually a really nice sorcerer. He's the second best sorcerer in the game. Uh, he's the worst mage, on the other hand. Or, worst whiz. Maybe Chaz might be worse. That's a bit iffy. Concerned about that zombie. I think the zombie might be in range to attack now. And I really don't want to take a zombie hit. I'll check the moment. It's my turn again. I'm definitely in range of Hobgoblin, but there are five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm not in range of the zombie. I'm going to taunt the Hobgoblin. Thirty-three defense. 
And yeah, you would actually only be taking one. You would be a good blocker against the Hobgoblin. Unfortunately, boost is starting to expire. to not do veto. I had some plans on... Okay, you're attacking Sarah anyway. That's good. Sarah can take a hit way better than uh, whoever's pretending to be Kazan. I think that might actually be Kazan. Yeah. Yeah. 16 defense versus 20. Although you're standing on road, but whatever. Heal Sarah which unfortunately cost me one of the locations next to the Hobgoblin, but that's okay. Huey leveled up, yay! New spell? Dispel! Dispel? Dispel. That's a really interesting choice on Kiwi. So, Dispel for anybody who's played any other video game that has magic spells is a silent spell. It blocks casters from being able to cast, and the AI actually can't figure out that they can't cast, so they'll keep trying to cast spells even though they're silenced. Um, it's the first death effect spell that we have in our party. I can't wait to have many. Um, and... I want to say it's a 60% chance of success. Every status effect spell in the game has a flat percentage chance of success. Oh, it really did hit me in the wrong spot. I was not prepared for it. Zombies in range now, aren't you? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. See what freeze two does. I know it does lots of damage, but I don't remember how much. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a waste of an attack, but I don't have much of a choice because I need to take out that zombie fast. Because I'm gonna lose boost, and Sarah's in trouble. On the plus side, this is actually fairly convenient. Magic kill. Or eat this morning, so that's probably part of the problem. I'm going to do that after I finish this battle. And I can't reach. This is a bad situation. One, two, three, four, five. safe, but anything beyond that and I'm screwed. And the zombie's going to get in. Ooh! Can I kill it? Yeah, I can kill that. That worked. Okay. Ugh, I really don't want those zombies attacking. So, not only are zombies really strong, they have a chance of poisoning on attack. 
and I don't have a detox spell, as I've mentioned earlier. Detox is kind of important. Okay, I'm gonna let them come to me instead. This makes more sense. Oh, he's going back up here. Jaha, your job is basically to make sure that Peter's always boosted. Because Peter needs all the help he can get on defense. For help, go ahead and move all the way down. Sarah, you're going to be my bait again, most likely. One, two, three, four, five. I can move fairly far. I just want to make sure I'm off the road before I get attacked. That would be bad. Oh, how far can the dark smoke move? Is it six or five? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm still fine. But I should be waking them up at that point. So my intent is to have them move once and then Sarah move back to lure them closer. Let's see how well this works, shall we? This is going to be a long episode, isn't it? Okay, they've both moved. I think they're both in range for Sarah. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Both could attack Sarah on the same turn. But... I can move Sarah again. Hopefully. Looks like Kazin's either the start or the end of the round. Okay, if I move here... Only the zombie could attack Peter, so that should be okay. Uh, item. Magic. Boost. Like that. Because Jaha's the only one already boosted out of that group, I believe. If I move there, I'm going to be attacked. If I move here, I won't be. If I'm just going to move there. Perfect. Actually, you're probably in a good spot right now. Is Sarah actually going to get a turn, or am I going to get killed because of turn order? Okay, good. You're just going to move back one. That should be enough where... Only the zombie can attack, and the only thing that they can attack is Peter. Wait, slip in there. The character art is still throwing me off, and I forgot to edit the game where Peter's number of deaths was one. Or zero. Yep. So I got hit by six even though I was boosted, which means that if I wasn't boosted, I would have been killed. You're going to heal Peter immediately. Boom. I'm making my own sound effects since I can't hear anything going on. Ooh, full 13 XP. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh crap, you can actually attack Peter. I didn't realize that. That was a mistake on my part. Ooh, double attack. Nice. Good job, May. 24 XP, too. Pretty good. For some reason, I thought the Dark Smoke was slightly aligned differently. Or Evil Cloud, sorry. Dark Smoke's the pallet swap version of it. Yeah, Peter only got hit by three by the Evil Cloud. Luckily, I got to heal in the middle. Otherwise, that could have been bad. Alright. Can you even hit either of them? Or do more than one point of damage to either of them? But staying there does make the most sense. Damn it, I did it again. I blocked every way for me to attack with Kazin.
Parker. I hope this is a little dangerous for you, but I think I can take them both out. Mostly because it's Bowie's turn. Bowie can kill the zombie. I think Bowie doesn't have damage. Yeah. Especially with the crit. Bowie's level 15. No defense increase. Dang it. That's kind of what I was afraid of. And May will end up killing Evil Cloud. May's a good archer. Being a little unbalanced on stats. Or on levels, though. So I need to depend less on May at this point. Okay. Um, let me think. Where do I want to move to next? So I've got a couple of options. I can either go down here. This is the route I normally end up taking, is going down here. It's very tight spacing. And there's an evil cloud here. And an archer. So it's definitely not the most ideal situation. Normally, I have Peter, Thunder God, Phoenix, where it's not that big of a deal. If I go over here, I'm in the wide open. I'm probably better off going to the left, actually. My only concern is that these folks will come up and attack me at the same time. I should be okay, though. Your boost is already expiring? Oh. You were already boosted for me. Yeah, go ahead and heal Peter again. I might have already woken them up. That'd be interesting. Lure them up here. So this is a really bad battle to try to grind on. There's much better battles for grinding, and the next battle I could take is actually a fairly good one for grinding. Technically, Kraken would actually be good for grinding, but that would be a bad idea. Okay. Jaha, let's go ahead and boost again. Once more, your entire goal. Actually. Yeah. Even though that's fewer people, your entire goal is to make sure that Peter is constantly boosted, and having Sarah with more agility and defense is a good idea. Although, at this point, are you high, so high level that you're actually a better blocker than Sarah? 25 defense, 30 agility. 24 defense, 27 agility. Yep, you're actually a better blocker than Sarah. <sighs> I mean, that's with boost, but, well. That's fine, they're both boosted. It's an apples to apples comparison. May up. So, how am I doing on levels? 15, 14, 14, 17, ugh, 13. So, 13s and 9 are my lowest. I only have one creature that can cast Blaze 2. And that's this Master Mage right here. So I don't need to worry too much. I'm going to stay put and let my force reassemble over here. Maybe even bring some of the lower level characters up a bit. Because they're not moving, because I'm too far away. I haven't woken them up yet. They've woken up, or if they're just idle moving. 
those are definitely just idle. You have movement 5, 3, 4, 5, you're fine. Five. I'm barely fine, but I'm almost certainly waking up. Which is fine. Just you can go down there. Is in. You're going to go there. Kimi, I'll have you stay down there. Yep, they're woken up. Because he is now in range of being able to attack Peter. So I might need to move Peter back a little bit. Once more, I screwed that up. Damn it. How hard is it for me to position people? Apparently, very hard. Heal Sarah, get her back up as a good healer. Yeah, you're already starting to notice that my healers are. And my healer is starting to separate from the rest of the party in XP. It's because it's the way I play. Ugh. And if I move any closer, I'm going to be in range of... One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Bowie's in range of the zombie. That's not good. I really messed up my movement. Okay, you're gonna attack Peter, that's fine. Ow, that was boosted. Okay, so here's the problem. The two of them, I, I can't survive more than one attack with Peter right now. So I actually have to move Peter back. Zen. We'll give Peter some XP at least. Ah, crap. Power ring starting to crack. Alright, so that means that I'm not going to use the power ring for the rest of the combat. Also, you're going to get attacked in your pie hole. Nice. How bad it would it be if I got hit by the Hobgoblin? Um, defense 14. That's probably going to be pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is an even worse idea. was dumb of me. Well, I guess Jaha's getting even more XP. That's not what I wanted to do. But that zombie needs to be damaged. Yep, zombie does have freezer resistance. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, that 
was a bad move. Stab the zombie. I need the zombie dead. Okay, good. Thank you, Sarah. Good job. Level 15. Okay. I'm not as concerned about the hobgoblin attacking archers. It's going to hurt, but the hobgoblin's not that strong. They've been woken up. You're gonna attack the thief, okay? Ooh, double attack. I'm glad you attacked the thief instead of somebody else. Sarah gets counterattack at least. So counterattacks do half damage for reference. I don't know why, but they do. Alright, how close am I being hit by you? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can only hit up the stairs. I'm fine for doing this. Oddly enough, that's not a full heal anymore. Because I have a lot of hit points. May, you can move on up. Here. Actually, do a decent amount of damage at this point, doesn't it? Or two. The Huss attack is so terrible. Alright. This now means that you can attack me, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. You can just attack you. Okay, that's fine. You've killed them. them to die yet. That's fine. I can survive an attack. Slade killing them. I would prefer somebody else, but this will do. I don't want you to live too much longer. Yeah, I'm starting to get low on XP from Hobgoblins. Heal up Sarah again. I'm also out of range of the archer. Just good, question mark. I might actually want to start just massively moving back, now that I think about it. So, here's the battle situation. I have woken up both of these groups. If I move over to the left, I might be able to attack just one group at a time. If I continue where I'm at, I'm basically drawing all of their attention at once, and things are going to go downhill very quickly. So... I believe my best bet is to actually run at this point. Besides, if I stay in the middle, I can lure the flying thing away. Come up here, but you can't do much. 
One, two, three, four, five. Likewise. If I move here, I'm in range of being attacked by an archer. So I'm going to move out here. Okay, yeah, I need to move people fast. actually lag behind because you actually have defense, but I'm just going to move you further. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely not my normal way of handling this battle. It's interesting, too. This is actually a safe spot. Now it's not. Ah, oh, poop. I'm gonna have to deal with two archers at once, aren't I? Yep. Um, Fate is in. Uh, Slade is in trouble. And if Slade's in trouble, Chester would be in trouble there. Here's the decision. I can move Jaha here, cast boost on these four. Jaha is probably my best defender, but he'd be taking two hits. And I'm um, not sure if he can survive both of those hits. I want them to move closer, but there's a good chance that next round the same thing will happen, only I have more enemies to deal with. This is risky. I have two people with the aggress and a bunch of people with angel wings. As long as somebody goes in between and I don't think I can survive, I'll be okay. I don't like fighting on stairs because there's no terrain effect. That's the problem. Yes, it's soon. I know that's a problem. Not safe. Oh, 
Okay. If Jaha takes a turn, he dies. So it happens at end of turn, so he can heal him. He, he can heal himself. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to attack anyway, because I can heal Jaha with other people. Like Kiwi, who's standing right there. I'm actually going to heal to Jaha. Not that it heals more, but so I can get out of the way and actually fight the zombie. Okay, Jaha is still in bad range. Sure, Peter, why not? You might actually do two instead of one. Ooh, you did four. Jaha, you're in trouble. Archer's in Kiwi range. Or, sorry, former term. Um, yep, this is going to be a problem. You're going to leap out in front of Jaha and kill the zombie. It's a bit of a waste. Because I wanted somebody else to kill. Because they need the XP. Bowie's not getting 49 anymore. Oh, this will work, actually. Okay, do I need to move back further? Six, or five. I don't technically need to, but I'm going to anyway. Because I can. Last! Funk. Take six and like it. Jaeger Hall level up. HP, MP, attack. Defense, agility. Agility 2? Huh. I wonder if you're the agile mage. Okay. If I can lure the archer up to. Actually, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. I can lure the archer here, which means I could attack. Get. I would get. Chester would get attacked by the archer. How are you on defense right now, Chester? 16, but you're still boosted. Uh, nope. I'm gonna move back. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, you have blast, don't you? I forgot that blast was a thing on Black Monks. So it's such a bad spell normally. And if I shiv you, you can hit me. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can definitely hit me if I shiv you. I'm gonna do it anyway, because you're a healer. Bonk. Yep. This is a bad situation. Hmm, at least he dodged. That's good. Zim, you would probably die if I moved you any closer. One, two, three, four, five. Crap. Um, Peter's gonna die. There's nothing I can do about that without endangering somebody else. Great. Um. Your defense is 15. Your attack is 32. You would be taking 17 minimum. You could take it, but it's not going to be pretty. I think I'm going to. Herb, Peter. It's the only way Peter has a chance of surviving.
I have a kitty curled up on my lap, though. So, things are okay. Okay. Do I need to run? That's basically what this boils down to. I could potentially take out the Black Monk. Let's see. Your attack is 34. Your defense is 18. Yeah, I would probably take out the Black Monk. This Black Monk's not on any terrain effect spot. But I am in... I would be attacked by everything. So let's heal Sarah. I can't use any rape effects spell because I'm out of magic. Dang it. Okay. Freeze one, I guess. I'm taking up a spot that an archer could take instead, though. I'm thinking I might need to egress again. And it's been an hour! Ugh. He's so close. There's only seven enemies left. Unfortunately, all seven are attacking me. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Those three are all in range of the archer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Only the archer can hit me outside of... Oh, these three can obviously still hit me. That's the problem. So, let's do that. This is a bad idea. So how leveled up? It's good. And right... Jaha's still poisoned crap. I can take out the Black Monk with Gerhalt. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how close are you to death? You're at 13. You're fine. You'll take out the Black Monk and damage the archer, which is good. If I can get a hit in on the archer, I will probably be fine. Yeah, that's worth it. Oops, like leveled up. Okay, good. Your defense and agility went up. You're gonna need it because this is gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt anybody else. Okay. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You still can't reach anybody. You're the only one who can reach. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. I screwed that up. Slade's gonna die. Unless if I do something. Because Slade can get hit by three people before he goes again. He's not boosted. I can't boost because I'm out of magic. But I'm so close to ending the battle. Let me think. Okay, so... Most of me wants to be cautious, because this is a Nuzlocke. If anybody dies, they're dead forever. Those goobers over there haven't moved recently. I have Dispel, but I don't think I can reach... Oh, wrong character. It's the priest that has Dispel. I don't think I can reach with Dispel, because I think it's the same range, effect, or same range as most spells, which is two squares. Um, if I had somebody going in between these three, I would probably be okay. No, I would need to make sure that I go between these two. 
The Hobgoblin, I'm less concerned about. The Hobgoblin will be doing 8 points of damage. The Archer is going to be doing 12 points of damage. And then I'd be finished off by the Evil Cloud easily. Damn it, I think I need to egress. Again. Freaking hell. Am I ever going to finish this battle? than Kazin. I mean, Kazin's two levels lower, to be fair, on those stats, but... Uh... Dang, I wish I had the Protect Ring right now. That would be the good answer. The easy answer. You've moved. You've moved. You've moved. You've moved. You've moved. 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 These two back here are the only ones of my force that have not moved. He can't do much. Chester can't do much. I mean, Chester can cause us to run away, but... What happens if I put you in front? You have even lower defense. Never mind. Because you have 20 defense at least. You have 19 defense. So putting you in front, the only thing that would do is to make sure that... Uh, Sarah dies instead of Kazin. That does not help me. Slate there. good XP, I guess, but it's also lethal, and I still have characters that are low-level. So freaking close. But yeah. So, I am going to Angel Wing, but I'm curious to see what would happen if I didn't. So let's go ahead and save state of curiosity. So I am going to Angel Wing for reference. I'm just seeing if that was a good idea or not. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. Ah, never mind. This makes sense. Yes, it was a good idea for me to enjoy. Well, that makes me feel better at least. I forgot that I didn't trap that one. I, mean, I guess I could do that instead. Would that actually have changed much? Beyond which character dies? I would have killed the Hobgoblin. Ah. Uh, that would have changed a lot, actually. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh well, I had already decided I was going to Angel Wing. So, let's Angel Wing. Head back, refill some healing items. I think I only ended up using healing herbs though, which I'm trying to deplete. useful dropped. Nope. Well, actually, yeah, that is the item I would want. Alright, let's go to the top. You can use another healing seed. You can use another healing seed. Oh, I should have grabbed you an angel wing. I'll just fill you up. to go cure. Okay, take the healing seed. And that's it. Okay. Let me go cure, because I don't actually have... Oh, this is so ridiculous. I don't have anybody who can cast detox. Cure. Gosh, Jaha is poisoned. But I can treat you. It'll cost 10 gold coins, okay? is no longer poisoned. Nobody's paralyzed. Nobody's cursed. Oh, that's a ditty I don't really get to hear very often. Okay. I guess I should stop this recording here. Um, I'll at least walk over to the battle again, so... Uh, damn it, I did it again! Um, I'll walk back to the battle. Um, I'm probably going to start the upload of this because this needs to be up in the next two and a quarter hours. And I'll take a short break, stretch my legs, actually get something to eat and drink, and then come back and try it again. Ugh. Okay. Well, I will see you in a while. Let me save state as save 10. And I'll talk to you next time.